Hi, my name is Alyssa Bergman and I'm the Development Manager at Victoria Women's Transition House Society. I'd like to thank the Victoria Foundation for the various generous grant to fund our SAFE program. Uh, SAFE stands for Self-Sufficiency in Assets through Financial Education and it's run out of our third stage housing unit called Harrison Place. Um, we're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, one component of the SAFE program called uh, Paths, and um, that's an, an area that uh, the grant through Victoria Foundation helped to fund. And paths are goal setting and action plans um, done by the participants. And here with me is Joan Fire, who is the program coordinator of SAFE, and she's going to show you an example of one uh, participant's path. Thank you, Alyssa. This is an example of a person's uh, path, and that they begin with sharing their dreams with our staff, who, uh, one of whom is an excellent artist, and she draws uh, their path. Then from these dreams, they, uh, she, the participant identifies her goals, and an example would be being financially secure and able to meet her needs. <clears throat> and then from all these needs, there are first steps are identified. So the first step for that one would be to negotiate her debt and seek solutions um, through joining the SAFE financial literacy program. Then we move to one to three months. Where will she be? She'll have explored options for increasing her income and document work and research opportunities for projects and teaching. Uh, contacting Camosun College and securing a family doctor are examples. In six months, she'll have reduced her debt, increased her income, sent out proposals, and communicate her intentions to renew her lease at Harrison Place. This is an example of a path, and from this, an action plan is drawn up with these various components. Thank you, Victoria Foundation for making it possible for these women to undergo this goal-setting process as a foundation for the SAFE program.